If you're looking for a fun way to spend a Friday night, Imaginary is now in theaters. So definitely avoid that. Do anything else and you might have a better time. I actually went and saw it like an idiot, hated myself for it, and now I'm going to give it a review. We are barely into this review, but I want to let you know you can subscribe to the channel. Adam Does Movies here. It's free of charge, and I post reviews every single week. It's a good time. It's a lot of fun. I like to think I'm as about as honest as you can get on the internet. Uh, and I know that's not saying much, but to me, that's the gold standard. All right, what, what we have here is a movie really for no age. It's PG-13. It's an hour and 40-some minutes long. Feels like 18 hours long. And if you've seen literally any horror movie in your lifetime, you've seen this film. It has every cliche under the sun. It's got a 15-year-old daughter who's a total bitch. I myself have a 15-year-old, and she is one of the nicest, happiest, most bubbly, caring people on the planet. I'm getting really annoyed at the cliche of, oh, we got a teenage girl. She's got to be just absolute trash. But the focus isn't even on this character. It's on our younger sister, Alice. Alice and Taylor live with their dad, Max, and new mom, Jessica. There's a divorce, it's messy, and now Jessica's in the picture. She's an award-winning children's book author, and I have to say, I saw the stuff that she's creating. If that's what wins awards nowadays, I might need to switch professions, because it's not good. But apparently it's good enough for a couple certificates. What's not so good? Her relationship with these two girls she's trying to raise with her husband, Max. I'm in, Listen, I know horror gets a pass in the acting department, but the acting in this movie is pretty bad. It's pretty miserable. Max is the most generic husband ever. He's like, hey babe, how you doing honey? Okay, good night, I'm leaving the room. And then chaos ensues. This movie is so offensively stupid when it comes to people going into areas, yelling or getting into trouble, and then not calling out for others who are in the other room. And for some reason, those others don't hear them yelling out, calling out names, doing anything. It's ridiculous. But let's get to the premise. What's this film really all about? Well, it's about a scary bear. That's barely scary at all. In fact, no, barely's generous. It's not scary at all. And yes, that's a pun on purpose. I'm doing puns here. Alice befriends this imaginary character that she finds during a game of hide-and-go-seek. Seems plausible, but I'm saying it like it shouldn't be, and that's because it's stupidly presented. This game just fires up and immediately Jessica gets a phone call and goes outside. Just bails on the game without even telling Alice. So Alice is just wandering around the house. Jessica? Jessica? The girl's really little and very scared, yet she manages to open the basement door that goes to some haunting nightmare fuel, walks down these creaky ass steps. There's barely any light visible. J -j 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 Jessica. She goes down there. Stuff is turning on and that's not enough to have her run. She's hearing little voices. That's not enough to have her run. She continues to investigate. She finds a little hidden fucking Narnia door and pulls this thing open. Are you out of your mind? Movie? Have you ever been around a child? Clearly not, because the 15-year-olds are absolute garbage, and this little kid is just dumb as a box of rocks. Apparently fearless, but also incredibly afraid at the same time. Remarkable. Alice will then find and befriend this bear, and eventually Alice and the bear are going to start doing things that are a little suspect. But not very suspect, mind you. Not very suspect, mind you. This movie presents it from the creators that did Megan and some of these other quirky, fun horror films. This isn't quirky, it's not fun, it's barely horror at all. It's just so generically lame. Nothing happens in this movie for the first hour and 20 minutes. It's really backloaded for about 15 minutes where things start to happen, when the imagination runs wild. That's the biggest irony in all of this. The film's called Imaginary, yet there is no imagination present. Barely even, like, mustered a little bit. If I could reference something this reminded me of, I would say Insidious the Red Door. That's the level of quality we're getting with this one. Virtually no kills, no blood, it's PG-13, nothing that's really scary. A lot of very basic shit, like slowly looking over the side of a bed because you heard a noise. Really loud jump scare sound effects. The weirdo old lady next door that knows everything about the backstory and history of this house and the inhabitants. Oh, I remember you. 
there was something not quite right about you right about years ago. <laughs> really hamming it up, really schlocking it up. Visually, this movie's very flat. It reminded me of that Firestarter movie from a couple years back, arguably just as bad as that Firestarter movie's. Really dull looking visuals. The final little portion, there is finally some punchiness, some creativity, a little cool set that they have. But at that point, I'm completely checked out of this film. And this movie refuses to end. It's one of those movies where you go, oh, thankfully the sweet release of it being over. But then, nope, gotcha, we're still going. Gotcha again, we're still going. We're just going to keep doing this. I, I kept, like, excitedly getting up and then having to sit back down. And be like, oh, <laughs> no, okay. Nope. No laughs, really no scares. You have a main antagonist that's a cute little bear. What? Why? They don't do anything with it. It just sits there. It just sits in different spots. It doesn't look menacing. It just looks lifeless, dull. That's ultimately what this movie ended up being. All right, I have nothing more to say. Imaginary is a waste of time. It's a waste of everyone's talents. I would love to hear from you though, so please let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you liked it. Please think about subscribing, it's just a click away and you can be here with me celebrating these terrible, awful films. And maybe it's about time we retired the bear. Because between this, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2, Five Nights at Freddy's, I think that's a bear thing, right? I, I, I don't know, it's, just, it's too much, too many bears, too little interest. Alright, that's all I got for you, hopefully I see you next time. Be safe out there. There could be a bear at any corner of the room that will just sit there doing nothing ever.